when I was e-scouting, I had looked at places that had where you almost had a little bit of a gradual bench just over the top of the hill, and then it went to a steep drop off. So the topography lines got closer together. And those are the areas that I'm trying to walk that line looking for buck bedding out on the point. And I found a great example of a buck bed only about, I don't know, 80 yards around the rim from around that topography line where I marked at home from the web map. And what this shows is the reason why this buck in my assumption would be bedding here is when you have the prevailing wind coming over your back he can lay right here on this it's like almost like a little mound meant for him but there's a dip to his back so it's kind of covered there and even if you're coming up over you'd have to be about 15 yards from him to be able to see him but he's got a great view down below he can see the entire bench below him and if somebody was to come from his back whether that be a predator whether it be a human or a coyote or anything else he can jump down over this and be gone in a matter of no time. And the size of this bed, just you can really tell that it's a buck bed for a few different reasons. From some of the rubs that are leading up to this point, you can also tell by the size of it and that there's also not any other beds around here. When does bed, they tend to bed in kind of like a circular area where they're all covering each other's backs and especially if they're up a little bit on the top. But this one's a lone bed sitting here with a great visual. I found a community scrape here as I talked about with e-scouting. They like to be in the flat spots of benches. So behind me you have kind of a steep hill that goes up to an oak flat on the top and then it kind of teeters off to another steep edge. There seems to be some bedding out around this point a little bit further out. I mean only about 70, 80 yards and close to that bedding in some of this beach brush and mixed with some oaks you have this big community scrape. There's multiple licking branches. There's, I think, six of them that I've counted here from years and years of use. An old signpost rub on the tree. This spot has been used for years. And how I would hunt this specific spot is in the early season, if there's acorns up on the top, that, and assuming that the bucks would be bedding out around this point, I would hunt it in the morning. So when the bucks are leaving the food, coming back to bed, hopefully being able to catch them at that first light before they're getting ready to lay down for the day. When I'm hunting a place like this in the early season, I'm only going to really be hunting till about 10 a.m. I mean, I think most of your action is gonna be first thing in the morning for, for me personally. So I'm gonna try to just get a good few hours in and then move along and, and scout. But, one of the things to pay attention to is when you're not having uh, you know, giant deer densities and, and buck bedding can be sporadic, I'd know that the bucks bed here at some point. So it might take multiple days in a row of doing that to be able to determine whether uh, this is a spot that is a fluke or if it's a spot that they're actually working during the season.